Field trip. Come on, class. Let's go. Wasson Peak. Hey, how you doing? My name is Bruce Hull. I'm a professor in the College of Natural Resources and Environment and a senior fellow at the Center of Leadership and Global Sustainability. I'll be with you for most of the year, especially this first semester. Uh, I'm going to uh, introduce myself as I take a walk up uh, a, uh, a trail in uh, outside of Tucson that goes up to Wasa Peak. I recommend that you take that trip whenever you can, if you make it uh, to Tucson. Uh, this is uh, kind of started back there. I'm heading up to that mountain there, it's about nine miles or so. And if I make it, uh, I'll have a video to share with you. Uh, I'll report back in a few miles. Prickly pear. Okay, I didn't quite make it a mile, but I did go up a big steep climb, so I'm gonna catch my breath. Uh, I've been with the Center for Leadership and Global Sustainability for a decade or more, well, actually longer than the center existed. And as a part of that, I've been able to work with leaders and professionals uh, really at the top of their game from business from civil society non-government organizations and the like and certainly from government at all levels state local national and some international and we've uh, just had a fabulous uh, learning curve uh, being inspired by these people and i'm going to try to bring a lot of those lessons to you uh, in this class and in what I teach. And you see some of it summarized in, in the book by Island Press that's a, a part of the program, Required Reading. And we're gonna bring that to life, uh, some of those lessons and more. Uh, and so I look forward to sharing that with you. Now, see if I can get the next mile. Oh, look, a mine. I don't know whether it's a silver mine or a turquoise mine. Uh, I drove in on Silver Bell, so it's probably silver anyways. Look at all the tailings. What would it take? What kind of economic conditions would it take for somebody to want to work up here on the edge of a hill with no water in the heat of the desert? Uh, it's amazing how far we've come. I really believe that the science and technology is out there to solve most all the challenges that we face and that we really, really lack our, uh, the abilities uh, for professionals such as yourself to have influence. And so that's that's where my career is focused now. Okay, these guys here are about the most beautiful thing out here. But oh, are they deadly. Those needles, they got little barbs. They just don't come out. I don't know what these things are called. All right, what do I teach? Uh, in the X program, I'm responsible for what we affectionately call the systems assignments. And that's an opportunity, an attempt uh, to get you to think through a systems lens to find leverage points, to think about feedback loops, interdependencies, interconnections, to kind of dig into some of the bigger challenges and some of the some of the science and logic and issues and strategies that are out there to solve things like food and ag, water security, um, climate, energy, uh, global global resources, global flows, uh, fracking, and we'll dig into all kinds of cool topics. And as a part of the systems perspective, I'm trying to get you to, to question your paradigms and basic assumptions to, to realize that maybe the problem that you think you were trying to solve is actually the wrong problem, or at least ineffective, or maybe even part of the problem. And so what you ought to do is look at it from another perspective, another dimension of the system, or maybe step back, think of some other leverage points, and, and think how to have real effect lasting effect, consequences. At the end of these assignments, you'll have a language and a lot of expertise to be able to deal with a wide range of professionals addressing some of the major sustainability issues of the day. I'll also help out with many of the projects and, and of course, a lot of leadership content as you get from the book. Um, so I'll be involved in, in all aspects of the program. And if I'm lucky, I'll be able to travel with you wherever we go uh, internationally. So uh, it's Looking forward to uh, the next mile here. Okay, I just about made it to the top. A few people up there I'll show you in a minute, but this is my favorite spot right here on the edge. Looking all around, that's the top up there. A few people up there at the very top. You can see all around here. It's a, just a spectacular view. Hope you get a little vertigo like I do. Look, I just want to say thank you for letting me a part, be a part of your learning journey uh, this, this semester. If you got any questions about the course, about life, about your career, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, be well, okay? Uh, and uh, stay in touch. Feels good to get those shoes off. That's the end of the trip. You guys can go. But I'm going to include a few 
bonus tracks if you want to hang on. Purple. Bird, I don't know if you can see it, but it's below me. You know it's a good hike when the bird is below you. Hey, look, I made it to the very top just to prove it. Do a 360, here's 90. There's 180, it's 270, and back has Tucson and Mount Lemon in the background. Quite a view from up here. Go home. Don't you have anything else to do? Want some more?